Welcome to Research Tools Video 10 Emacs Part 5 Modes. My name is Kurt Schwer and in this video I'll be showing you some of the major modes and minor modes in Emacs and these are stateful things that control how Emacs looks and works in each particular buffer. So let's start off with one of the fundamental modes, the fundamental mode for major. If we jump to some random buffer you'll see down here when Emacs doesn't have a particular mode it says fundamental down here. This is the mode that has no special additions to it. So if we open up a file in here, just call it foo. This file has no information about its file type, so it's just called fundamental. Another uh, common mode that you'll see is, let's try readme.txt, and it looked at the .txt and said that this is a text mode down here in the buffer below. And on the right, we'll see that YAS stands for YA snippets. Those are snippet additions. This is the minor modes that come after it. So we'll just go back to the notes here. And there's a good number of modes. So we can open up a Python file. We can say control X, control F, my file dot pine. And based on the extension down here, it called it a Python file. We can also say my file without an extension, it's fundamental mode here, but we can say, for example, pound, bang, bin, bash. We can save that, control X, control S, and we can do a meta X revert buffer. This will reload the file off the disk and reset the mode. So YES. And if you notice now, it looked at the first line of the file and said, oh wait, this is actually a bash script, so let's set the bash mode down here. Works quite well. Okay, we'll kill those. And let's look at two more modes that you'll probably run into. If we say foo.kml, this doesn't show up as XML, even though we know that KML is XML, but we can say foo.xml and that's actually marked as being XML and there's a uh, mode here that says nxml and it's actually validating the XML schema as we go so that's pretty exciting to be able to have it check your code as you go. We can say homepage.html and you'll see it's now in HTML helper mode and it's even created a template for me to start with typing my text so type your web page here. So let's go open just our org mode file. And notice here that down here it says org and it says wrap. Wrap says to wrap the text all the way around and don't hide it off the right hand side of the screen. But we can also, if we want to see what's going on, for example, we have, maybe let's make this link so I'm going to change this link with control C, control L, and I'm going to hide it. Hidden link. So now our hidden link doesn't look like very much, but if we switch back to text mode, text mode, we now are back in a mode that doesn't know anything about org mode. And so things like links get turned into their actual raw text. So here you'll see all the square brackets that go for creating a, a list. Then we can go back meta x org dash mode. And we're now back in org mode. So that was meta x uh, text mode and then meta x org mode. Now there's several other modes that we might want to try. Another one that I like to keep on a lot is meta x fly spell mode. And what fly spell is doing is actually as you move the cursor along, it's checking the spelling of the word that. Uh, it's underneath and we can do meta dollar and correct the word if it had a better spelling. And there's another mode that's also very handy when writing. If we write, we write a really long sentence here. If we write really long lines that are greater than 80 characters or probably 78 we'll say I think it's 78 by default then the line would be nicer 
if it was wrapped. So now we're wrapping off the end, and that's no fun. So if we do meta x auto fill mode, so now you'll see a fill down here. If we go to the end of this with control E, and if I type a period or whatever, or something in a space, it's going to reflow or refill that paragraph. Now, what if I mess it up? There's a key, and that's meta Q to rewrap the line. So that was meta Q will reflow that line. There's a couple other really neat ones. We can say control U, which is the parameter key, 40. So we're going to make this be a 40 character uh, column. And we'll say control X and then F. And now fill column is set to 40. If we do meta Q, we have much narrower ones. So we can do control U 20. And now we can do control X and then an F. And it's now 20, meta Q, really tiny. Meta X, oops, control U 78. And then we can do control X F and we're back to our normal. And there's some other really nice features in there. So that was meta Q, which we have right down here. Fill region, you can pick a whole region and fill it. So if we had a couple paragraphs and we had crunched them all up. And if we highlight the region, so we have meta X fill region, it will then reflow all the paragraphs in that area. Now, if we have uh, a title, my title that needs to be centered. If we do meta O, meta S, that's now centered. And if we refill that, so let's do a control U 60, control X and then F, and we do a meta O, meta S, it's now recentered with that, that column width. So it works very nicely. Now um, I'm going to go open up a Python file, my file.py, and we're going to go take a look at one of the other minor modes that's in there beyond. So autofill was a minor mode, and Yo Snippets is a minor mode. And what it has is a whole bunch of text that's pre built for you to insert into your programs. For example, if I go down to this one, this one drops in an init by default. Not very exciting. Let's try a couple of the other ones. So we'll go down here and say snippet. Uh, we want to pick Python again. And here's a good common one. So in Python programs, when you have a script, and you want to define a function, def hello print hello world. Now what happens here is the only time that this name variable is set to main is when this is actually running as a script. So what this does is will let us import all the functions in here but not run the main code. So if we wanted to provide a command line interface, we would do it in here. So for example, we can say hello. So only if we call it from in there do we actually get hello. So if we do control C, control C to run the whole Python file, it runs it and we get hello. Now if we do, uh, let's see, we'll jump back to our terminal. And if we do ipython ls, and we'll say import my file.py. We're going to make sure we've saved that. Yes, control X, control S did, did that just great. And we're going to import my file. And notice that it didn't actually run anything in that Python script. It just loaded up our function. So we can say my file, hello. And we've now done our little function. So having snippets like that makes your life a lot easier. You can actually go add your own snippets. And there's snippets for a lot of different modes. So if you like C mode, there's lots of things you can insert for C, C++, 
uh, Emacs Lisp, HTML, HTML has tons, so we can insert all sorts of HTML if we want to insert a header. Now, you can do it uh, just about anywhere, and it doesn't really necessarily make sense. And there's also sometimes shortcuts if you look over here. Let's see if we can find one under Python. If we type for, so let's kill that. If we type for, press tab, and it actually starts completing item in, and then we can say 1, 2, 10, 1,000. And so by pressing tab through, it'll jump through different blocks. So Yas Snippet is really exciting mode. And as people create more snippets for different languages and you start trading them with people, you'll start building up a library of things that help you move really quickly with through your code. So autofill Yas Snippet. Um, another mode that's, that's interesting is overwrite mode. So meta x overwrite mode. And instead of typing in between, we can write right on top of the text. And if we do meta x overwrite mode, and we now type in normal insert mode where text goes in between. Uh, pardon my random junk typing. And if you ever need help, control H M displays a summary of the mode that you're in. And you can read all about them. So that's the basics of modes. We'll be using them throughout the class, both major modes and minor modes. So the main major modes are fundamental, Python mode, C mode, XML, HTML, text, and this should be org mode. Minor modes we've seen, fly spell, autofill, yaw snippets, and overwrite. There are many more, but those should get you started, and uh, thank you for following along.